You can find tar pits in the plains biome. They look just like this, and they will have these new mobs in them. These are growth mobs. So obviously in the plains and with these new growth mobs, you do want to make sure that you're pretty geared up when you come here in order to get the tar. Now to get tar, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can kill the growth. If I kill him right there, you'll see they will drop some tar. There we go. You can pick that up. Um, and also you'll see this tar inside these pits. So if we were to walk in here, you can see there is tar, but a couple of problems. If we try to pick it up, we can't, and you can get stuck in the tar. Uh, and you get the tarred effect as well, which as you can see here, really slows you down, making it difficult to escape from enemies. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can make yourself a little tar farm in order to drain these pits and then get all of the tar that you see here. One other thing that is worth mentioning, you'll see over here, some tar is uh, dropped on the floor here. Now, the reason for that is this is, of course, a fueling village, and uh, basically some of the growths were coming out of here and attacking the fuelings, which then killed them. So if you get the situation, you can have a look around the fueling village because they might have dropped some when the uh, fuelings killed them. So in order to make the tar farm, what you want to do is drain out these pits so you can get all the tar that's in them. So to do that, come to the edge right here and start digging down with your pickaxe. And you're basically going to make a little canal going out of here. So you can see here we are digging down and some of the tar is already starting to seep through. As I start to break down these walls in between, more and more tar will come this way. Now what you might want to do is just get the general direction of it like I've done here and then come over here so that you're not uh, all tarred and start digging without it being like in the tar and then we'll do that little bit later. So I'm just going to dig down here like this, dig a bit of a well and then I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've dug a little canal here for the tar to seep through, but I kept this here. So this meant I could keep mining without getting stuck with the tar effect. Now I'm just going to mine through this area right here. And as we dig through and connect it up to the existing tar pit, it'll start to seep out. So here we go. And we just dig away at some of these bits. I mean, eventually you probably are going to get tarred and that's why you need to make sure that you're being careful with like what you bring with you and you've got like good weapons and armor and stuff. Um, but this is the way to do it. And then once it stops, you just need to dig down a bit more in order to keep it flowing like this to keep that canal going. And you basically just do that until all the tar seeps out. So as you can see, I have now got a lot of the tar to flow from here down this way. Almost all of it is drained in fact. And and this tire here that was previously stuck, I can now go and pick up. And there we go, we've got four there, another four there. So you can get quite a lot of tar in doing this. Uh, obviously, uh, you can find quite a lot of these as well and drain all of them that you find in the plains to get yourself tons of tar. And tar is, of course, used in loads of the new recipes, especially for uh, dark wood and stuff like that. So it will unlock lots of new recipes for you and give you the ability to build many new things in your Valheim game. Just a quick video, guys. Hope this one helped. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And thank you for watching.